So in this video I just want to talk about the um, night latch. This is your typical standard Yale night latch with the oval sort of um, thumb turn there. You can turn it either way and it operates the spring loaded bolt there. These are these are normally what sit on the opposite side of a rim cylinder and uh, yeah, I'm just going to talk a bit about this. So it's called a night latch anyway because this here, this little switch, if you put it down, you cannot turn the thumb turn anymore. And also, if you have your key on the other side of the door and you try and open the door from the outside, it doesn't retract the bolt. And this also prevents you from shimming this this latch in by pushing it in because that's how you bypass these anyways but if you lock that you cannot shim it or open the door from the outside so the only time I would recommend using something like this with the you know night latch function um, is without the key operated one because you get two different types the one that is you know, has a little switch and the one that has a key that you have to lock it and that way it secures it from being opened if someone was to try and open it from outside um, so yeah let's just uh, talk a bit more about um, that and the applications so application for this would be on the door that has no window next to it so if it's just a solid door, this is probably the right one to use. If it's a door that has a window next to it, um, you don't want to use this one, you want to use the one that locks with the key, ideally, because if they break the window, they can just, they can turn that switch off and then open the door if they really want to. So yeah, these things are indeed low security. Now, there's that arrow there, and that arrow, basically, if you line the arrow that's inside of this up with the that arrow there, um, you can make it double locking, so basically, if you have your rim cylinder on the outside, if you have to turn it twice to make it dead locking. That means, basically, that if someone was to try and break the window or whatever, um, they cannot, even though this is not turned on they still have to basically use the key or pick the lock because there's no other way that you're going to get the dead locking function to not work any problem with the dead locking function is you do not want to put it on if there's someone at home because it stops the person at home from being able to leave through the front door in an emergency so you only do that use that if you're Nobody's going to be at home. Now let's just open this thing up here and see what's inside of here. It seems to be made of a cast iron metal, I think. Because that housing looks like it's cast. So take this plate off here. We can see in there. There is a spring here. And that spring, if you pull the bolt back from the outside, you can see the spring basically just re, re cocks the, the bolt. And then, if I move the night latch function here, you can see it blocks. It's a little, let me show you that there. It's a little fence there. And if we ordinarily turn that you can see it moves past there but if we put the night latch on it blocks it so that's what's happening with that it doesn't seem to do it on the other side so it locks on the one side there so uh, let's just have a look at the other side of this so I believe that this has to be turned possibly 
the other way, like, like this, it might have to be like that. Instead of being there, you have to put it there. So I think that might be the, the deadlocking function. But I'm not too sure on this older one um, how that works. But yeah, it says it's made in England anyway, back when they were. I don't know if they still are, so. Yeah, I think that's all we're gonna be looking at anyways on this thing. Now we just have to lock it back up, so. Um, yeah, some of these plates, these plates that come with these, um, I think there's an extra plate that it has this sometimes hooks onto. Maybe not this one, but there's another model of this night latch and it has a plate that you should really screw in using all the screws that it comes with so that you secure the plate on. That makes it harder for you to, someone to kick the door, the lock off the door basically when they try and kick the door in. This makes things more secure. So let's put that back now. it's on there properly and I'll just put that single screw back if we can stupid thing's not magnetic just tighten that up and hopefully it still works. So there you have it. If you have any questions about this, just leave a comment. Thanks.